This weekend's vlog is brought to you by Viter Energy Mints. Viter Energy Mints come in five amazing flavors. With zero sugar and zero calories, this strong mint packs an energy boost. Viter Energy Mints. Energy, great taste, and convenience. Get yours today at GoViter.com. Friday and uh, welcome to the weekend vlog um, I am off work and I am I've just loaded up the trailer we're getting ready to go on a camping trip for Emily's birth her extended birthday her birthday was yesterday and all the kids came over and she got some gifts and things like that and uh, so but for her birthday she wanted to go camping so that's absolutely what we're gonna do um, waiting for the wife to get home we got to run and buy a few things uh, from the store we need an extra tent we need some um, air mattresses and uh, some food and some things like that we're gonna go grab before we go. And um, I got a bunch of stuff on the trailer and then I told I told um, anybody who needs, who don't have room in their vehicle, they can throw stuff on the trailer. Um, we got a lot of people going. My, my two older daughters are going. My son maybe is going. Tim and his grandson Aiden are going, which is going to be awesome. Um, my wife and I, uh, our friends Amy and Eric, their their dad is the one who owns the property, and so obviously they're going. Um, and I'm not sure who else. I'm not sure who else. But we're going to have a crew of people out there, and it's going to be it's going to be a good time. It is going to be a blast. Emily is so looking forward to this. She's taking a friend, um, and of course her, her friend Emmy, who uh, Amy and Eric is Emmy's parents, and their father is the one who owns the property. So my hair is getting crazy. Okay, so so, so the trailer's got, that doesn't have a lot on it, I'll show you. So that's some of the stuff we have on there, and, and then if anybody else needs to throw anything on there, they can do that. We're gonna pull that out there, and uh, and we're gonna set up. I, I've got my big um, canopy that I can set up, that we can maybe have like um, a table or something under. I don't know to, to stay out of the sun. It's supposed to get very cool tonight. We're supposed to get down into the 50s, like 51 degrees. So great campfire weather, um, great hoodie weather, and uh, definitely gotta take some sweatpants and things like that, and, and a hoodie and stuff. So. Uh, we stay warm, but uh, which I don't think I packed sweatpants. I'm gonna have to recheck that. Anyway, my wife should be home in about 30 minutes, and then she's gonna jump in the shower. Then we're gonna head off to the store and uh, purchase the things that we need and uh, get this camping trip started. I'm taking the drone, uh, get some flights out there. It's it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a fun night. And it's private property and we can just relax and enjoy and not have to worry about anybody showing up or anything stupid happening because we're just out there on private property all by ourselves enjoying nature and having a campfire and roasting hot dogs and making s'mores and drinking some drinks and and it's going to be a good time it's going to be a great start to the weekend vlog and a great start to the weekend and i'm looking forward to it very much looking forward to it and then tomorrow I'm not sure what we got, got going on for Saturday. There's a lot of stuff going on in our little tiny town right now because we have a thing called the Prairie Dirt Classic going on. If you're not from around here, Prairie Dirt Classic is a big dirt track racing event. So we got all that going on and a whole, whole lot of other events going on around our little town. So we'll see what happens this weekend. But as always, it's Friday. I am very amped. If you can't tell, my energy level is very high as it is on Friday, especially after a fresh shower and things like that. And, and looking forward to a very, very fun weekend. So. We will get this weekend started. I will see you in the next clip. Alrighty, we are getting close to taking off. Getting the trailer loaded up. Got the back of the, the truck full. And it's like, it, me and the wife was talking earlier, it's like, you take so much stuff with you and we just spent like a couple hundred dollars more for camping gear and you take so much stuff with you to go camping to live like you're very poor. <laughs> it's like, the truck's loaded, now a trailer's loaded. So we're just waiting on Tim, we're waiting on our daughters and then we're gonna meet up with Amy and Eric and then we're gonna head out so um, I'm getting close to, to going I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to just having the tents up sitting down relaxing by a fire is what I'm waiting for unfortunately it's gonna take a while to do all that all right I'll see you in the next clip 
All righty, we're loaded up, ready to head out. We're waiting on like four people. <laughs> we're re we're ready to go, but uh, we got the agents of Shield. They're they're uh, escorting us to the campsite, so so uh, we get there safely. <laughs> this is my buddy Tim, and this is Aiden back here, and uh, they're going camping with us. It's gonna be good times. Good times. But well, we're waiting on Amy, Eric, my two daughters. I think that's it. Once they get here, we're ready to roll out. And we got a lot of setup to do. Yeah, we do. Yes, loads of tents to set up. set up. Look at this community. It's amazing. These are our neighbors here. Then we got these neighbors, which I heard they're bad news. I heard we're supposed to stay away from the, the bells. I hear they're terrible neighbors. Excuse you. Terrible neighbors. Except this one. This one's this is the good this is the good bill. I am the good one. Our community here is called Edwardsville. 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 We're at, we're at Camp Edward. Camp Edwards. Alrighty we're set up. Good bell. We're set up. We're gonna. We're starting to cook. Eric's got his girl going. I got mine going. You know what, Dad? Come at me. We're starting to cook. Emmy's trying to fight her father. Oh. He's coming at her. So. You know what, Dad? You know what? I think it's on. It's tag team. I got your back, Eric. If you need it. <laughs> All righty. There is a ton more chairs in the truck. What's happening, Chris? Just chilling. You ready to do some fireball shots? Me too. What's happening, Lex? My my daughters hate hate this camera. They hate it. Here's a, here, here's our other, here's our neighbors, Tim and and, and Aiden. He's doing Fortnite dances. <laughs> yeah, close the tent. Let mosquitoes get in there. Yeah, for sure. All right. Is there more? See if there's any more. Any more what? Okay. What are you eating? He's just munching down on a tomato? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I gotta get some chairs out of the truck. Not this side. This side. Juan. Two. Plus a ton of other chairs over there. All right, guys, we are... We are camping. There's been a minute since we've camped with these guys. Not since last year. This is our first time camping this year, which is insane. And we have to thank Amy's dad for it. His name's Ed and he let us come out here to his property and camp and super nice guys, super nice guys. So. What? All right, we're gonna do this camping thing. I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> Girls!
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I try. <laughs> We are packed up, heading out. I didn't do a lot of vlogging last night. It was just, we was just hanging out. We did a little too much drinking, I'm not gonna lie. Some more than others. And uh, I just didn't do a whole lot of vlog. I got a little footage, but uh, it, it was fun. And, it, and to say the least, we had a great time. Uh, Tim and Aiden and everybody, we just had a lot of fun. So we're heading out now, so I gotta get on the road. So I gotta end this clip, so I'll see you in the next one. Had to make it brighter in here. All right, we are back from camping. We've been back for a little bit. Been back for a little bit from camping. Um, we just had to get showers and stuff and get everything put away. We got everything put away. And we're about ready to go have some lunch. I did get this. Before I went camping, I picked this up. And as you've seen from the intro, the vlog is sponsored by um, by Viter Energy. So um, they, they was nice enough to send this over to me. Um, there's loads of flavors. I'm going to do a review on this. I'm going to do a review on these, a video for them. But uh, they were awesome enough to send this over to me and, uh, and, sponsor, and sponsor this video. So, so pretty much, um, 
Biter Energy emailed me there and said, listen man, we've been watching your videos, we really like what we see, we like a lot of your review videos, um, would you be interested in uh, checking out some of our energy mints? So these are mints, I haven't opened the package yet, I'm going to do that. These are mints, and yeah, they sent me, oh, they did send me a couple different flavors. I think I ripped the note, though. I think I ripped the note. Oh, that's not a note. So, so they did send me, they sent me, what they sent me? They sent me, um, which one is this? Um, does it say? They're, they're sugar-free, which is cool. I don't know what flavors does it say. What does it say the flavors? Well, I got two, two of these. My, one's probably spearmint. Oh, spearmint flavor and pepper, peppermint flavor. So they sent me two two different flavors and they have loads of flavors. But uh, I got these before we went camping yesterday. My wife actually brought them in and dropped them on my desk. And uh, I decided to open them on the vlog because they sponsored the vlog. These guys are, this vlog, this particular vlog, I might even put that um, in the title. Uh, it might, might even get me more views by doing that. But sponsored by Vitamin. So Viter Energy, Viter Energy. And uh, we're, I'm going to try these. When I review them, I'll try them for the first time on the review, and uh, it'll be cool. So, there you have that. Uh, my wife and I are getting ready to go eat. We are very hungry. We got back. We're, we're very tired, too. We're feeling we're feeling it. Uh, sleeping on an air mattress in a tent out in the wilderness. And although it was a very good time, I do apologize. I do apologize for not getting a lot of vlog footage from, from the, uh, the camp. Um, we was just having so much fun. I didn't even think about picking up the camera. And my my daughter's boyfriends are are really like family and friends to us. Me and Alicia, we get along with them so well. And we're just, we was just hanging out with everybody. My friend Tim and Amy and Eric, and and it was for Emily's birthday. So I I, I didn't get a lot of vlog footage. I tried to capture some as I remembered. But we was just having so much fun that I I really honestly forgot to even pick up the camera. Literally, I picked up the camera. Alicia's like, you better pick up your camera when we was getting ready to go to bed. And I picked it up and it was literally covered in, like, um, dew from the ground. I was like, oh my god. So, I totally forgot it was even laying down there. But, uh, happy Saturday, wife. Happy Saturday. Those are my favorite pants. Did I, have I told you this? You did. I probably, I've probably told her probably ten times today. They are, I am a fan of the leggings, man. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus, for inventing leggings. Pretty sure Sweet Baby Jesus didn't invent leggings, but uh, he invented the person, or he created, or his father created the person who created leggings. So, so thank you, Jesus. Anyway, it's, it's all, it's all you're doing. So I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, we're hungry. Um, I got a, I got a, I got a thing going on today. Um, <laughs> there's a, there's a guy in town where, where he, he's a, he's a friend of mine. I, I consider him a friend for sure. Uh, we get along so well. When, when, he, when he calls, he, he runs a photography company and, and he's doing phenomenal. He's, he's one of the top photographers around here for sure, easily because uh, he's just doing fantastic. He's had, he's had some of his photography really, some of his photos really take off and do great things, um, and pretty much go viral. Like on, like if if. if you think a photo can't go viral his did so and uh he's uh he's working on something today and he needs me this evening like late like 9 or 30 or 10 o'clock this evening to do something with drones so i have no clue what it is i didn't even ask i just said okay and he said thank you he said hey man uh get your mavic charged up and uh we got to meet up later and i said okay and he said thank you and <laughs> i left it at that i'm i'm not too concerned um because it requires flying a drone at night. So I'm like, that'd be fun. So I think Emily's home. Did that say Emily was home? I don't have my watch on because, which is driving me crazy and I'm doing terrible camera work. So I gotta keep looking at my phone because my watch is not charged because we camped. So it says Emily has arrived at home. And uh, my son also wants to borrow 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I don't know why that's funny. It is just funny. Um, yes, Emily is home. Okay, so um, uh, we'll see Emily here in a second, and we're gonna go get some some lunch, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna chill out for a little bit, and we're probably gonna get a live stream in. Oh, what's up, kid? I'm How you doing? Again. How you? Huh? I'm leaving. Where are you going? Pontiac. Oh, you're just now going to Pontiac. Yeah, this is from Amy. Okay. You kept the receipt in the bathroom, right? Did did you yeah. have a good did you hey what? can you say hi to the vlog hi did 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 you have a good time last night yeah it was, it was, it was fun. great all right she, that's what she Kristen wanted to do for her. Kristen looks you were wasted it was hilarious whoa whoa 
Well, nobody got wasted. That's a lie. <clears throat> All right, we are. Uh, we're gonna go eat. Emily's running off with a friend to to the to, to Walmart. They're going yeah. to, or no, to a store called Maurice's. Maurice's. Not Maurice's. Um, I, I called it Morris's yesterday because I knew it was Maurice's, but I just said it fast, and it came out Morris's, and she laughed at me. So, already be good. Be good. We'll see you when you get home. Uh, are you moving? Are you are you moving out? Or are you coming back? I'm coming back. Okay. She's too young to move out. She's only 13, but she is a teenager. So, uh, all right, wife. All right, I'm hungry. You're looking delicious, and oh, I just, I'm such a fan. I know. I, Steve, stop it. Just, okay, I'll see you in the next clip. <sighs> it's, uh, it's been a while since I've vlogged. It's probably going to be a very short weekend vlog. Even though we've done, see, it feels like we've done a bunch. Well, not really. We went camping. It's probably going to be a short weekend vlog. I just, sometimes, I'm not. Sometimes I, I just, I don't, I'm not feeling the vlog or just don't feel like vlogging. Anyway, I took a nap. That was awesome. We started watching um, Death Wish with Bruce Willis. We just finished watching, but we started watching and I fell asleep and then we just, we just finished and watched it. The, 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 uh, the thing with my buddy, uh, with the, the dual drone action, we're not going to do that. We decided against it, <clears throat> but, uh. Uh, sometime, sometime. Well, we're we're definitely going to be working together quite a bit, but uh, this was just some. It was just going to be something for fun, but uh, we, we nixed the idea. I just talked to him on the phone a little bit ago. But anyway, Death Wish, uh, Bruce Willis. That dude, <laughs> that dude is still a BA. He is still an awesome actor and can play a badass. Who was that? The guy that was like the Bruce Willis. I don't know who that is. He's an actor. What one was he? The main character. The guy, bald guy. Huh? Bald guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, good, good, good movie. Death Wish. Watch it. Bruce Willis, man. I was a big fan of all the Die Hard series, and he was a, just a he was a badass in those too. And man, he still got it. He can still be tough. <laughs> it was so good. I normally don't like movies like that, but that was pretty good. <laughs> it was, and that's coming from Emily. She usually don't watch action, action flicks like that, and she liked it. So, so it, it was, it was good. If if you've never seen Death Wish, go watch it. It's on Redbox. It may be on. It's probably not on Netflix. Yeah, Redbox. Is it? But Redbox. It's on Redbox. Uh, Redbox has an app where you can get it from Redbox. It was good. Very good. No. And it seems like there may be a part two. Maybe. It seems like because of the end. Yeah, seems like, that. not going to say nothing, but it seems like there may be a part two. So I won't give any spoilers, but watch the first one because there's probably going to be another one. And Bruce Willis, if he can keep acting like he's acting, he is, he is good acting. Now it's time. And he's in really good shape for being probably 50, 60 years old. Probably, but he—I mean—you wouldn't know. No. He's in great shape. Now it's time to go get me some ice cream. What do you guys? I don't know what's going on the rest of the evening. We may stream. I don't know. I'm not feeling that either. either. I'm just tired. It's uh, I'm sl in my bed. yeah, camping and and stuff is very very exhausting. And and I think Memorial or Labor Day weekend they want to camp for three days. Wonder if they figured out if we could there. A three-day camping trip. Now that'd be fun. That'll have to be simple food for each meal. Simple food, because this morning, and I didn't even vlog that, but this morning I literally probably cooked for two hours. Yeah, that's how it always is. And we ate. We all we all cooked minutes. we all cooked for two hours, and the food was gone, boom, like that, just gone. So, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I got my freaking ring back. I'm wearing it on this finger because it's still their sizing is different, or my fingers have gotten skinnier because I'm running, and that happens because. I sweat out a lot of salt and stuff, and salt makes you, and I eat a lot of salt, but salt makes you kind of puffy, and I sweat out a lot of salt, so my fingers get skinny, but I, I, I love it, I love it, it fits, it does fit my ring finger, and I normally wear it there, but I, sometimes I switch over to this, because I, I'm afraid I'm going to lose it, like if I'm going to take a nap or something, I'll be rolling around much here, I don't want it, I don't want it to fall off, because I love this freaking ring, and I know you can't see it on camera real well, but the, the red um, fossil, uh, dinosaur fossil in there is really starting to come come out. I, I don't know why. Uh, well, it, maybe it depends on light, sure. but um, I love it. I, I I love the fact that it's a dinosaur fossil. I love the fact that it's the second hardest metal in the world, and I just like it. And it's a cool ring. I dig it. Thank you, wife.
It's very you comfy. Dig it and you dig for fossils. Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to make a pun, but I did. It's funny. Haha, <laughs> because you dig for okay. fossils and I dig the ranch. <laughs> um, all you can't even see me. I can see you. All credit goes to me for that pun. Um, and now it's time to go get me some ice cream. This kid. Look. She. This is one of her birthday gifts. She got a bicycle, brand new bicycle for her birthday. We probably didn't even show any of that, did I? No. Well, we still because we celebrated her birthday Thursday and last night. She got a brand new bicycle. She got an, a, outfit. an outfit, and then she got like two hundred and some bucks. And so she did a little shopping, and Converse was spent over two hundred some dollars. And then she went on a camping trip yesterday, last night, and uh, I think she's. You've had a pretty good birthday. Yeah. And she's been hanging out with friends, so she's had a pretty good birthday. Had a pretty good summer. Yep, I think I think I knew her. I told you at the beginning of summer. I said I think you're gonna have a pretty awesome summer, just because she's got her she shed and she's got her friends in the pool, and and she can go to she can just go to the pool. Our pool isn't free, but if you buy a pool pass for like the summer, she can just go to the pool every day whenever she wants. Walk in, go swimming. She's been hanging out with friends. She's, she's had a pretty nice summer. Lifeguards love us. Yeah, the lifeguards. They, she, they're friends with all the lifeguards out there, and there's one lifeguard that always buys them like, like Dairy Queen food and stuff. She's spoiled. She's very spoiled. But the reason people like her so much is because of her personality. She's got a great personality. She's very fun-loving, just fun kid to be around. She's very happy all the time. She's usually not mad at people. I've seen her mad a few times, but she's usually not mad at people. But when I get mad, I want to like punch a whole thing. Oh, she's she's a lot like me. She's a lot like me. I try not to get mad. I'm usually fun, loving, and happy. But when I'm mad, I'm mad. And that's never good. Or when I get mad, I get too mad over the littlest thing. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're going to chill the rest of the evening. Uh, shh. Seriously. <laughs> shut up. Okay. I apologize. I just am wrong. We're going to chill the rest of the evening. I, I, I may vlog some more. I may not. If not, well, the next clip will be tomorrow morning. If if I do vlog, well, then the next clip will be something. I'm not sure what's going Probably on. Probably you saying it in a live right, stream or not. Or that was a good it's live true. stream. true. Either way. You'll see me in the next clip. I'm not live streaming. I, I, we haven't live streamed since Tuesday. But yeah. we'll, do, we'll do a lot of it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be I'm rested up. Huh? Oh, i got to meet with... I gotta meet with the author and we gotta talk business. That's at one o'clock. Well, um, I will get a morning live stream in. And then I gotta go talk to this author because we're gonna be doing some some work together and some video work and stuff yeah. and he wants to run some ideas by me and then and then um and then yeah. So I probably won't vlog while I'm there because it's like at his residence. I'm going to his house to talk to him. You're gonna get abducted. No. This guy's I mean, I, I know him. I've known him for like 18 years. So. Oh! Okay. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Just I'll see you in the next clip. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Happy freaking Sunday. Oh man. Today I decided to look at my watch to see like what the numbers were. Pace, heart rate, all that stuff. And the f one of the times I ran, I can't remember, it probably wasn't the first time. I, well, I made a, a promise to myself that when I'm out running, I would not look at the numbers. Um, I'm just trying to get back into shape. No looking at the numbers because I don't need to push. 
I'm not training for races. I don't need to push anything and create injury. So um, I decided, I made a promise to myself not to look at the numbers, but maybe once every couple weeks um, and compare from a couple weeks ago to when I look again. Um, so I just, when I start running, I just let my watch black out because, you know, it blacks out until you look at it. And, and I don't pay attention to anything. When I get done running, I simply just uh, end the run on my watch. So I'm gonna stop right up here a second and talk to you guys. <laughs> so um, I've been talking about body conditioning and getting, in, in, in getting my body conditioned again. There we go. I'm, I'm by Ace Hardware. So I haven't, I haven't looked at my watch for maybe a week. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, I, I, I'm not sure how many. I think it's my. So I waited a week. I, I think the first time out, I can't remember. <laughs> but I know from a, probably a week ago. We'll just say it was probably a week ago. My pace is three minutes better than it was then. Now, here's the thing. I don't like that angle. Here's the thing. I don't I don't want to push myself. I don't want to I don't want injury. I just want to be out here running. I don't care what my pace is. Could care less. I don't care usually don't care my distance. I'm pushing for 3 to 6 miles um, per run depending on how I'm feeling. Because this is all about health now. This is not about running races or getting good times as it used to be. And it really used to be all about that. And that was when I was probably my healthiest, and I wasn't really cons too concerned about my health, I was more concerned about the numbers. So, I'm three minutes faster than I was the last time I looked at my numbers. Which only means this, that I'm not pushing myself. Because I'm not. I wasn't out here today really pushing myself. Because I didn't have no, no goals set, I didn't have nothing to push towards. So I was just out here running for health, weight loss health but when I looked at the numbers I was like wow three minutes better than than the last time I looked and that tells me my body's getting conditioned again I'm probably losing some weight I, I haven't even stepped on a scale because um, you know I'm kind of doing the and I will today but I'm kind of doing the like not look at any numbers at all and compare from one week, two weeks to whatever. Um, if I'm making any sense, I, I know what I'm talking about in, in my own brain. <laughs> but uh, um, so he, my body's conditioning, uh, getting a little healthier, getting uh, just getting conditioned. So this is good for me. This is this is uh, this is good for me. So um, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. The run's feeling good. And I was shocked that that my pace increased. It just all comes back so quick um, when you get out here steady, regular. And I'm not trying to just murder myself out here. I'm out here enjoying the run. It is 60, I don't know, it's 60 some degrees, like 61 degrees when I got out here this morning. Beautiful running weather, beautiful Sunday morning, quiet, peaceful, birds chirping, amazing, amazing day. And my body is getting healthy again. So just wish me luck. Wish me luck that no injuries occur, that nothing puts me down. This is all about health for me. This is all about staying healthy. And I'm saying this to the vlog as like uh, um, to be held accountable, <laughs> to, to, to stick to it, to keep eating right, to keep running, to keep exercising, to keep myself in shape and to keep healthy. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not getting any younger. I don't want health problems. I want to be healthy. I want to be I want to be doing well. I have I have family and grandkids and future grandkids and future things and I honestly love this world. I love this life and uh um I want to stick around for for a very long time and and uh I know I know some people say I don't love this world too much, but I do. And I think God's given me a planet and a world and a place and a family and and a future to look forward to and things about all of this that I should love. All right, I'm gonna get running. I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, back from my run, obviously. And uh, this web project I'm working on is massive. Oh, there's so
so much content. So much content going into this thing. I gave them a time frame of 10 days. That time frame didn't include the weekends. Three hours of evening, every evening for 10 days. So that's like... I underestimated, I think. Underestimated. Um, I think they'll, they'll be totally understanding if I don't reach the deadline. I've been busting it though, man. I've been working, working, working. But I'm, I have to make... I have to create forums. I have to create forms, web forms that are filled out and can be submitted to them. I have to create um, basically um, ways for them to accept payments on their website. There is so many links, so much content. Wife, this website's killing me. I know. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, but we need coffee and it might make it better. <laughs> It might make it better. We do need coffee. I gotta brush my teeth real quick. I gotta get some coffee. I haven't worked on the website over the weekend, but they know that. I told them 10, 10 business days. 10 business days. Basically two weeks. Two biz, business, ten, you know what I mean. Three hours in the evening, but I don't know if I hit that deadline. Do you realize I gotta build all these forms, wife? All these, all these tabs, all these ways of them to accept payments. <sighs> you got this. The donation page that I'm, I'm working on for this organization is the toughest one. Once I get past it, I think I'm pretty good. All right. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to get some breakfast. I'm hungry, very hungry. And then I can't wait to do a video on these. Try out these Viter. Viter Energy Mints. Viter Energy. <laughs> Let's do a commercial. <laughs> do that one. Huh? Probably shouldn't do one like that. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's cool that they, they reached out to me, though. And I'm excited about a trend. I mean, uh, you know, it could boost your energy. Maybe this could be a coffee replacement. Maybe. You know? Or if you don't have... what well, We should have took these camping. We didn't get to have coffee. We could have been like, gulp. Eat about, eat about them. <laughs> I, I don't think they're that strong. I don't know. I, I'm going to do a review on them. I'm going to actually do a separate video on these and taste each one. They sent me two different flavors. They sent me spearmint and peppermint. They have loads of different flavors. So I'd look for that video coming soon. Anyway, I'm thirsty. Well, I want coffee. I want food. I want clean teeth. So I'll see you in the next clip. Morning. Uh, uh. All right, we got food. Uh, our local Casey's has something new. My wife took the last one, so I, I'm gonna taste some of her. It's a, it's a breakfast bowl. It's a breakfast bowl. I didn't even know that. Well, obviously it's new. So, we got breakfast, we definitely got coffee, it which tastes phenomenal, because I haven't had coffee in, uh, how many days? Open your lid, I'll give you some. And you just give me I'll a just biscuit. Take a, no, I'll just take a bite out of no, it. No, just give I don't me. want half, because I want my biscuits. I just take a bite. I can take one of your biscuits. I don't want you to take one of my biscuits, I just want a bite, because I don't know if I like it. What's in it? There's tater bites in it. Mm -hmm. Why'd we buy tater bites? I didn't know what was in it. There's like gravy, and it's like gravy. I'm struggling. It's a, uh, hold on, let me get my hair out of the way. I want a little gravy on this there. Isn't that easy? Get that some of that gravy right I there. I got stuff. It's so Come cheesy. On, take it. Oh my god. Bro. It's it's, good? Yeah, not bad, but. It's basically these things with what eggs gravy? and gravy and cheese. This is good though. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I would definitely eat that. You want half? No, no, no. I'm just gonna eat this. Unless you want half, unless you want biscuit. I'll take a biscuit. I mean, no, I'm just saying, do you, or do you just want to eat that? No, we'll split it. That was what we said the first time. No, I'm not saying I want to split it. I'm just saying, like, if you really want a biscuit, otherwise I'll just eat these. Okay, then just eat them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna... <laughs> all right, it'll be all right. We're gonna have our coffee. 
and our breakfast. And uh, we bought some Monster, of course. We're going to chill for a little bit. And then we're going to... I don't know what we're doing. I got that meeting with uh, Pete today. And we haven't live streamed since Tuesday. Might not get a live stream in until this evening. I don't know. It looks like it's going to rain today. It does. It really looks like it's going to rain today. But it's it's beautiful. All right, we're going to eat. I'll see you in the next... Oh, it fell. In the next clip. I hope you could see me. I hope I was in frame that whole time. I'm using the GoPro session. I guess we'll find out. Okay. I got to... I just woke up again. I'm so exhausted this weekend. I'm so freaking tired. Oh, I got this. <laughs> I gotta go meet up with Pete. He is uh, the guy who writes the horror novels. Got a meeting with him in about an hour and a half. It takes about an hour-ish to get there. So we're going to do that. We're gonna stop and pick up Emily. And we're gonna head that way. Why am I so tired, boy? I don't know, <laughs> One camping trip wiped us out. <laughs> I don't know if that's it. I don't know what is up. I'm tired. Again, stay awake. <laughs> Suck it up, there go. Oh. Alright, we're out of here. guys the meeting with Pete is done uh, a lot of good things happening um, this is his new book coming out uh, the dreadful lives of Enoch strange and sitting in there with Pete um, he's he's telling me about this I'm, I'm not gonna reveal it because this book isn't even out yet but he was telling me a lot about this story amazing I could see this as a movie like I, I, I hope things and, and things are, but I hope Pete and his work reaches the right people that would actually turn these into movies. He would be a busy man One because he can write. Right. He can write. He gave me some. I got a ton of stickers for their podcast, Upside Down. Their podcast. That is actually, the bald guy is actually Pete, and that's his buddy, Chris. They, they do this podcast together, and they gave me some stickers, too, because they do a podcast, and I'm going to be doing work and website work and, and commercial work for the podcast, and then and then Pete, separately, aside from him and Chris as a partnership and for this podcast, he separately has hired me to do some other stuff for him, which is awesome. He gave me these bookmarks, the one for Enoch Strange, his Pete Altieri thing. He gave he gave me a book. I got a book to read, um, a, a Creation of Chaos. And this is volume one, and um, I'm looking forward to getting it. This is a, a collaboration of a bunch of stories. Uh, he signed it for me as well. He he signed it for me um, right there. Here, here's the here's the thing, and I told I told Pete the I told Pete the story about um, why Stevie started liking heavy metal and because of Low Twelve. He he loved that story. But uh, here's the thing with it, I've, not, I've known Pete, not very well, but I've known him for a long time because he was in a metal band for years that my son and I listened to a lot. And um, he was uh, he was in a metal band in, out in New York also, and then moved here and started a metal band. And, and uh, since the metal band is broken up, he's, he's uh, he started writing, he, and he wrote most of the songs, I think, for this metal band. I'm pretty, I know he wrote a lot of them, maybe not all of them, but he wrote the majority of, of songs and stuff. He's just been a phenomenal writer and uh, very good at what he does and uh, very good at like managing things and he's very organized. But um, So I've known about him for a very long time and I reached out to him one day um, uh, just, just uh, saying, hey man, we should take one of your stories and turn it into a B-rated short little horror film. Um, that's not in the works yet uh, because we have a whole. Because then he was like, "Well, hey, uh, you know, we'll 
talk about that maybe, but I got some other ideas, and that's when the commercial ideas came up for the podcast and for his 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 uh, his writing stuff. He also gave me this shirt, and um, it is uh, Blunt Force Trauma Press, and uh, or Blunt Force Blunt Force Press is the his his own publishing company. So Pete's doing some crazy stuff. He's doing some crazy, some great crazy stuff, and uh, and and I'm I'm uh, I'm happy to be a part of it and uh, to work together with him because he's a very interesting, very interesting individual, very interesting person, um, and uh, just talking to him was fun, a lot of fun. So so the meeting's over. We're heading back home. Probably gonna end the vlog, um, and because I want to get home and do some live streaming because I have a live stream since Tuesday. I should be getting home and getting busy on some stuff, but I have to take the weekends off. It's just, I have to take the weekends off. I can't work a day job, work on, on the evenings on all this stuff. I mean, I've got, I've got video shoots. Oh my god, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with it all. To be honest with you, I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Get the small stuff done. Get uh, out of the way. This website, this website is is looming over me, and I've got so much to do. I've got to get it done. But uh, anyway, it is a very gloomy, rainy Sunday outside. It is it is rainy and it's gloomy, and uh, not that that has anything to do with anything. But uh, I am uh, I'm going to end the vlog. I'm trying to I'm trying to focus, and I got my phone going off. And, Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog. Yeah, never seen me much. We haven't seen her much. She's uh, she's she, well, we seen you. Well, I didn't vlog much during the, the camping, so I, I I've I've really I've really kind of screwed this whole weekend vlog up because I just wasn't feeling it, and I was just I was just wanting to. Uh, they get the gist. Of it. I was just wanting to enjoy the weekend without a camera in everybody's faces. And, and um, I didn't know how Tim and Aiden felt about being on camera, so I didn't vlog the camping much, but you understand, we went camping. Anyway, all right guys, I'm, I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna end the vlog, we're gonna head home, we're gonna relax a little bit, we're going to uh, probably do a live stream, maybe, it depends. Depends on how the wife's feeling about it or I'm feeling about it. It's been busy, we're busy, it's so busy. And, and sometimes we might have to, we're probably gonna have to push the live streams like this for a while until I get caught up on everything because I am overwhelmed right now. Not overwhelmed, but getting very close to being overwhelmed with too much work. I've gotta get, I've gotta, I've gotta get things done and on a timely schedule and get things knocked out. For one, because it's financially, you know, I get paid. Uh, so financially, I, I need to get these projects complete and get paid for them. And uh, plus they're projects that people want done. And uh, I am on. I, I do put myself on time constraints uh, because people need their stuff at, at certain times. Pete's got a book coming out. I've got to get this stuff knocked out for him. So you know, on time because his book release. So and then this website, they had. I gave them a time frame. So I'm going. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just busy. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Not that you care that I'm busy. You're like, so what, Steve? We don't care that you're busy. We're just trying to watch your vlog and see what's going on in your family. We don't care that you, what you're doing outside. We don't care what you're doing outside the camera. Outside the camera, we don't care. It's what's on the camera. But what's? It's all about my life. I'm just telling you. It's all about what's going on in my life. And this is what's going on. I just had a very important meeting with a very interesting individual that led me into talking about how busy I am. <laughs> Alrighty, that's in the vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming to the Steve Tilly channel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Weekend Vlog. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, fam.